this is my version of the FT Racer fly test. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, landed it rough a couple times. Um, let's give it a try. I haven't flown this one in a while. <coughs> As a hand launch, I haven't put uh, landing gear, so I don't think I'm going to. So, <coughs> see, it has a lot of power. That's, well, not a lot, but enough to do the nice hand launch takeoff. <coughs> And I know I haven't painted it. I haven't uh, detailed it. I just did some uh, electrical tape here and there just to Yeah, and the batteries on the underside of the pod that uh, swappables and let's see how it flies <laughs> I haven't taken this one in months so <sighs> Antenna up Whew. You know what? Wind's coming from this direction. But I'm going to have to launch it against the sun, and that is. Oof. Okay. <laughs> well, if I crash, I crash. Whatever. It is what it is. There you go. Pull. Oh, God. Ho, ho, ho. That, that was. Whoa, that was close. Okay, I'm running about 75% power on this. And I'm not liking the low rates. Let's see if I can go high rates on this. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Yeah, I got some crosswind coming from the back of me now. But it's really nice. I like it. Control surfaces are very, very small, especially for a plane this size, but it actually does work. Uh, yeah. Let's do a low pass. Yeah, very squirmish. Well, not really. I'm just used to the AS3X. And then when you get something without it, then it becomes an issue. is the wind that is doing this but it's it's trying to turn me no actually no I think I need some trimming let's go up high a little bit every time you land this you got to retrim it Now it looks better. That's pretty decent vertical for what it is. It's not cheaper than buying one for sure. This is more of a uh, this is more of a do it yourself and get get pride out of something that you built from scratch. Not a uh, nice loop or make it a Cuban 8 instead. Yeah, definitely I'm going to stay with the high rates. Control surface under this, like I say, they're very small. I guess we can remedy that. Get another kit, and redo the wings, put some higher surfaces on it. And I did not put my timer on. Why? Because I'm not using my uh, spectrum. I'm using the Turnigy, the XD9 or uh, X9, whatever. It's pretty decent on speed. That was full pass, full, pl full power.
Yeah, I'm keeping it about, I would say, 75%. Yeah, nice. And I also did not put my um, alarm in it, my lipo alarm. So, why don't we just do one thing and land it? I have no clue how long I've had it up in the air. And I'm not taking the walk of shame that much this time, so. Oh! Of course, instead of the grass, I had to land right on the only uh, on the only spot that has uh, asphalt in it. <laughs> yep, of course. Could have flared a little bit better, but let me see. If it'll cut, ah, I think he's fine. Let me see. Yeah, he's fine. All right, let me check. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any unbalanced. Yep. Got a little moisture in there, but that's about it. You know what? It's not a bad little plane. Uh, I may want to spend some time now and paint it. Give it some sort of a cool racing stripes uh, scheme. Let's see. Again, that's one of the things I was mentioning in the last video, that I love the new Spectrum um, transmitter, because I don't have to worry about forgetting to um, turn on the timer. I have 33%, that's not bad. 379s, 38s, 38s, that's not bad, okay. That sounds good. Okay, here you go, the FT flyer. The racer, I'm sorry, the FT racer. I think I'm definitely going to give it a little paint job. Motor's hot, not untouchable, but it's pretty hot. Huh. See what I'm saying about the control surfaces? They're about an inch and a quarter, and not that much. I got a flaps on this thing too, but <laughs> the darn thing's going slow enough as it is. Okie dokie. Hey guys, thanks for watching again. Let me give you some final thoughts.